Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Uh, this video is going to be about creeps and we're going to deep dive, do a deep dive into the uh, maths of creeps and try to understand exactly how it works and what is uh, um, sort of the ROIs we can expect by getting into creeps. Okay, so I've got a spreadsheet I set up here. So let's start with the token. Right, okay, so let's start off with the, the first token we need, uh, usually, on the Creeps ecosystem, is the Genesis. So if we head over to OpenSea and we look at the Genesis token, Genesis, Creeps Genesis, that's the first one on the list. Oh, what's this other Genesis? That is interesting. Okay. Right, so it's 5.95 to get in. So if you click on buy now. So it's 5.95 for a blue Creeps. Okay, that's actually good because a blue generates more money than a, than a green one so let's call it uh, let's do it with green genesis and then we have the blue genesis we have the yellow not gray genesis yellow genesis and purple genesis okay so these are the ones we can we can get uh, and the price for the green and the blue at the moment, we can pick up for 595, 598. So let's look at the price for Ethereum. So if we go into cryptocurrencies, Ethereum at the moment is 2790. So it's going to be 2790 times six, more or less. Okay, so it's going to be. Let's put the yeah. So let's make a sheet. Okay, let's just put in um, price Ethereum price dollar two seven nine zero. Okay, equals this times five point. Yeah, what's going on here? Right, so this has to be a number, and this is going to be the format would be US dollars, numbers, US dollars. Okay, so that's what it costs to get in. Um, and then this one is going to be Ethereum times. 5.95. How much would a gray cost us? Um, so a gray would cost us around. The cheapest gray is 6.3. Okay, let's put that down. Equals to this times 6.3. And a yellow would cost us. The next yellow down is 7.25 and 7.29. Okay, so this is going to be equal to 7.25 times this one. That equals to 7.29 times this. Okay, so these are the prices for the different creeps. And the Lumi return, according to their uh, guide here, is. Uh, green, purple, gray, green, blue, gray, yellow, and purple. Uh, so we get 1500, 1600, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Okay, so let's put in 1500. Uh, so let's do this. Let's put another one. Big. Price 
Okay, so price of Lumi today, according to Dex Tools, is zero point zero seven dollars. Okay, so it's zero point zero seven six. Okay, that's the price. So the format's gonna be US dollars, numbers, US dollars. Okay. So the Lumi is gonna be fifteen hundred per day. So this equals to this times yes, that's our dollar return. Uh, so if we say sixteen hundred, seventeen hundred, eighteen hundred, nineteen hundred. Okay. So what they also have here is if you were to withdraw it. Uh, so they do say here that if you need to withdraw your Lumi, you pay 25% rate. So our cash value, so withdrawal, withdrawal, uh, cash is the equals to this times 0.75. So this is what we should be able to get out per day. Um, so, I think I can extend this. No, I can't. Okay, so equals to this times this. Our prices and then the cash USD we can get out is this per day. Okay, so let's say we need to insert some more. Okay, so weekly USD, weekly, and then we do monthly. Oops, yeah. okay, so weekly. So it's going to be equals to this times seven. Equals to this times fifty-two divided by twelve. Then equals to this times twelve. Okay, so. Okay, so essentially, uh, these are the returns we, we should be expecting from these groups. So 16,000 invested would get us about 2,500 per month. Within six months, we should recoup most of the money. And the other thing is obviously the value of the Genesis is going to go up over time. Now, once we hold a Genesis, we can get these other things called the reptile armories so if we get a reptile armory at the moment the price for a reptile armory is uh, let's find out reptile oops okay let's have a look at the reptile armory the minimum price is 0 0.99 so we can get one for 0 0.99 okay so if we get that for one eat equals to this times one and the return we get on these octalomeries according to their catalog here is 600 I believe there you go so 600 um, yeah, so if you do it at 600 Lumis per day, so this is going to be 600, and this is going to be equals to this times this, and then the cash USD is going to be 34, and these are the annual returns. So 
So the reptile armory actually gives a bigger ROI than these ones. Uh, so annual PR equals to this divided by this. And this is going to be in percentage format number percent. So 186 percent for that one. And these ones are going to be. So as you can see, the gray genesis is giving us a better APR. Reptile Armory gives an amazing APR. Um, so yeah, 2700 could turn into 12,000 over a year. Um, what else have we got here? So that's uh, what else is in the ecosystem. So we also have the vault, which is actually quite complex to work out. So, so the Lumi vault at the moment is going for 1.18. Okay, let's just put down the vault equals to this times 1.18. equals to this times 1.18 okay that's the price of a vault now the daily ROI on a vault is actually quite complex because the vault gives you shapeshifters, vault, mega shapeshifters, bright claim, looming economy, membership club, what is the vault? okay they don't seem to talk about the vault here but there's the Discord, there's the Twitter, there is a Medium article as well. Medium, there you go, that's the Creeps Medium. No, not this one. Um, okay, uh, let's check here if we can find this groups in a great story groups in FT next project FT project no that's not the one okay so let's check on their website how the where we can get the NFT from uh, I mean the, the the vault return so they have a, a page on on their um, Substack, this is the one I'm talking about. So, uh, so essentially, they're saying claim from desktop, da, 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 da. it shows you how to claim, and then claim failed. Shapeshifters, mega shapeshifters invasion game. Okay, see all Lord and Co. There you go. These are private banking. So on this one, what's the smart bank? So a smart bank would get you 500 lumis per day yield. This is the base. Between the times you claim and from the initial vault deposit, if you have not claimed before, you'll see a fluctuation percentage. This is the dynamic amount that correlates to the percent difference in the total bribe per accumulated from all the lumis in circulation. So as every lizard will claim at a separate time, everyone will have a unique fluctuation and agreement to claim. What's the bribe information port? 25% is collected every time anyone withdraw of Lumi uh, and 10 to 25 and their Lumi spent on the examiners. How the bank matter must be installed, how to join the bank and claim. So it really depends on the fluctuation. So it's quite variable the return you get. So if we average it and just say on average it produces I don't know 700 Lumis. Okay. Then that would be equal to this times this. So that would be our return on this. And that would give us a return. Very similar to the Reptile Armory, I would think. And then we have the mega shapeshifters Trump. Okay, and then we have mega shapeshifter Cuban. Shift shifter 
Paris Mega Shapeshifter Elon Mega Shapeshifter Snoop Mega Shapeshifter Gary and Meg and Mega okay, I find it like Mega Shapeshifter Banks. Okay, so if we get these, so remember you need one of these genesis to get started on any of these other returns. So now let's look at the price of shapeshifters, the, the mega shapeshifters. Mm -hmm. Mega. So creeps mega shapeshifters. So these ones. If we want to buy them, um, okay, there's there you go, a Trump shapeshifter. Uh, so let's say we only want the best ones possible. So they would cost 1.75 for a Trump. Okay, so let's put in equals to this times 1.75. And the Cuban would cost us 2.2 equals to this times 2.2 equals to uh, what do we have here. 1.98 for a Paris. This times 1.98 equals to. Uh, next one up is going to be Elon. There's the Elon. 6.4 is the cheapest Elon available. Uh, if we do buy now, 175. Yeah, 6.4 is the cheapest Elon. Because, um, yeah, if you don't take the Lumithirst 5, you're not going to get the best returns. It's better to only filter out those ones. It seems there's no Snoop. No, there is a Snoop available as well. Snoop is actually cheaper than Elon. That's very interesting. Right. So, anyways, equals to this times 6.4 equals this times 5.3. And what else is there? And then we have the Garys. Uh, Garys are going to set off minimum 6.09. The bank's going to be 20. Okay. So equal to this times 6.09. Equals to this. Right, okay, so that's our megas. Now, a megas would cost around, let's have a look. So, megas, megas, megas. Um, let's look at the returns we can expect to get according to their website. So, megas would generate around there you go, 450 plus 1000. For the first 30 days, you get 450. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you don't need to claim it daily, you could claim it afterwards. But, yeah, so for 30 days, it's actually this return, and then it becomes different. So, yeah, it is a bit tricky. So, so if we were to work out the annual, it's quite different. So I would say, let's just think of the first 30 days as bonus and just focus on the annual. Okay, so Trump actually generates a little bit more uh, than the... Yeah, so there's a thousand of these. Okay, so this is based on the bright pool. Okay, so 25% uh, of all the bright all the withdrawals of Lumis goes into the bright pool and you get a percentage of that. So we can work it out basically. So because I've had my stake. So I've got what here? I've got a Snoop I believe. Right, so I have a Snoop God sitting here and it's been about two days. 
So if I go and check how much is generated, it's accumulated 3,600 in two days. Um, so that gets us to 3,600 minus 450 times two, it's been two days. So minus 900, so 2,700 is what I managed in two days. So it's about 16, uh, 1350. So let's say 13. So my snook has generated 1300. Uh, and I have a banks. And I'll check how much the banks generated. So we can work it out by switching to a different account. So let's have a look. How much? Okay, let's go. You can see. Okay, so on this account, I have two of these a Snoop and a Banks. So we can probably work it out backwards here. Uh, if we go to creeps. Not the stake, the mega shape shifters. So it's generated 19,000. So if we take away the 3,600 for Stu, we end up with 16,000, 15,700. Minus the 450 times two. So it's gonna be 14,800 is what is generated in two days. So it's about 7,400. Okay, so we have potentially 7,400 per day on the banks. Seven, four, three, zero. Right, so those are the numbers we do have. Now, the uh, USD amount. We can extend all this. Oh, that didn't work. Um, so the best way to work it out would be to go here and do the maths. So if we're saying a snoop is going to be, let us say, Trump snoop Cuban. Okay, so there's a thousand Trump in circulation. There's 500 of these in circulation and 100 of banks. So a Trump should be one tenth of the bank's income. And a Gary should be about one third of the bank's income. So let's do that. So one tenth of 7,400. So it should be 740. Okay, it should be one third, so that should be 2450. And then we have Elon, which is so an Elon should be 600, so one sixth. Let's do this divided by six. The parish should be one seventh equals to this divided by seven. And then a Cuban should be one eight. Okay, so this should be equals to this divided by eight. There you go. Those are our incomes that we expect. Now if we increase this. Oops, that didn't work. Interesting. Hmm. Right, okay. So, yeah, unfortunately, I have to do it. This 
times this couples this times the new price equals to this 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 times the new price equals to 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 this times the new price. Right, so those are our, should be our daily returns. And now we can extend it. There you go. That's our ROIs for the different elements. So let's put these on different colors. So this one is going to be the fill color should be put in light blue. And then these two are a different category. Let's put it in light red. And these are another category. So let's put these as light yellow. There you go. So those are the three types of resources at the moment producing different types of income so obviously the entry fee is actually quite high unfortunately at the moment but this is still pretty good at you know whatever many ethereums it's, it's very good so as you can see the roi for uh, for the megas is actually pretty good uh, although the one for the reptile armories and the vault is still probably the highest. Uh, you do need to take into account other areas such as the uh, uh, the utilities involved. So a genesis could sometimes give you free drops. It could let you stay in the game. Armories doesn't do that. Uh, armories can inflict damages over the coming uh, updates they're bringing in. The Megas can give in some other utilities that not announced yet, but it does have other benefits. So yeah, it really depends what we um, what we can get for it. So yeah, with that said, um, yeah, thank you for tuning in. And so this is hopefully going to help you figure out the maths of Crips and how it fits in. Cheers.